You're going to want to stick around and hear her story. But first, welcome back at 1030. In the ongoing battle to buy rare bourbons in Virginia, authorities say two men cheated the system, and one of them is a former Virginia ABC employee. And now, both are charged with felony embezzlement and computer trespassing. Fox 5's Josh Rosenthal live in Arlington, Virginia tonight to explain this case. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, you know, anybody can go into a Virginia ABC like this one behind me and buy Maker's Mark or a whole bunch of other kinds of bourbon. However, if you want the rare stuff, as you're about to see, it's a whole different story. This is how the process used to work. So let's start with some of these temporary living accommodations. In this case, my new buddy Steven's tent parked right outside. Uh, this Virginia ABC. That's right, the Virginia ABC would give bourbon buyers a heads up when limited availability products would be in stores. Bottles would sell for between $50 and $150, even though they could potentially sell on the secondary market for a whole lot more. I think about $1,100-ish would be the secondary price of this, this particular bottle. But prosecutors say there was a problem. According to charging documents, two men, Edgar Garcia and Robert Adams, are accused of embezzling the bourbon list. Prosecutors told the Virginia Mercury Garcia was an ABC employee who was allegedly passing along internal agency information, while Adams was allegedly selling that information to buyers he contacted through online bourbon hunting groups. In other words, most consumers had no idea which bourbons would be in which stores. But if you had the list, you'd have no trouble tracking down the best stuff. Just with the amount of hype behind these allocated bourbons and how difficult they are to come by, it's not surprising to me. Tony Casco is a Virginia bourbon drinker we met in an online group. Since the investigation, Virginia ABC has instituted a new system and told us in part they are confident that our current random process addresses the issues. Some online commentators have panned the new process, while Casco said... He likes it. I think it's fair. First come, first serve. You can get there, you can get there, and, and it kind of leaves it up to you to, to make it happen and get one of these special bottles. If you want more information on that new system, we've posted a link on fox5dc.com. Also, we made multiple attempts to contact both Garcia and Adams. However, we weren't immediately successful. Guys.